So we have a curiosity for this week that we need to get to. Uh, it is going to be an image this week of something really interesting. So next week we should be back uh, with uh, Stuart, our expedition leader in the Darwin studio. He's working on recording a whole series of new experiments for September, as well as a whole series of new curiosities from the Darwin studio. We're gonna have one more curiosity this week uh, from my office. So I am going to share this picture uh, and we're gonna talk a little bit about it before I uh, issue the challenge for this week's curiosity. So let's make sure I pick the right window. There it is. So this week's curiosity, this is a photograph that I took when I was in Costa Rica a little while ago. And so when I was in Costa Rica, sometimes when I you look really carefully on some of the plants, you can find insects like this wasp. Uh, you can also find ants in this form as well. So they are no longer alive, but they are kind of frozen in time. Uh, and they have these strange growths coming out of them. So our curiosity this week is to try and figure out what has happened to these wasps uh, to these um, ants, what has caused this growth? You know, what is the process that took place that led to the death of this wasp uh, and those growths that are those growths that are coming out of it? So that is our curiosity for this week. Um, have a little look around to see what it might have been that caused this wasp to end up here on this leaf, kind of frozen in time, dead. Uh, and with these growths coming out of it. So what has caused these growths? What is that process? That is our curiosity for this week. If you go to uh, classroom at darwin200.com, that is where you can send your best guess as to what caused this to happen to this wasp. What's going on here? Maybe tell a little story uh, of what happened. So classroom at darwin200.com. Uh,